Right, we're looking at the new server here that I've just built, the new storage server. Um, just want to say uh, thanks to uh, MS Knight for putting me onto ZFS in the first place um, and making me realise that from now on all server builds for any sort of storage are going to be ZFS builds, got to be. And uh, Victor Bart, uh, your, your uh, builder inspired me to build one. Right, so what we've got here, firstly this one's going in the data centre, uh, so we've got eight uh, hot swappable bays for the hard drives. Um, they've just got Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte in each one. Um, the case is from xcase.co.uk. Uh, what's cool about these little drives as well, I'll just take one out. These caddies, unlike some, actually come with mounting screws for uh, two and a half inch drives so you can put SSDs in them as well um, it was something that I did look at but I don't think for what we need it for we need that sort of uh, power at the moment as you can see there are a little array of SSDs in the top uh, what we got there and why so we've got in our hot swap bays, we've got eight, I'm only using one terabyte because we don't need much storage. There are eight one terabyte Seagate Barracudas in there. To the right you can see a Samsung 840 Pro that is 256 gigabyte and that is going to be my L2 Arc. The middle drive um, is an Intel 520, it's a 60 gig, um, that's going to be the Zill. Um, I don't anticipate it will see much use because of the transport I'm using uh, a fibre channel but it's going to be there just in case and we might want to kick it in that will typically get used a lot if you're using NFS um, on the left just a 60 gig Kingston SSD that's going to run the operating system it's purely there because it fits in uh, and it's it's got the height Right, so if we move into the actual board itself, what we've got in the board, let's get some zoom going on. We've, I've fitted this one, this has got an i3 processor in, uh, 2100T, it's a fairly low power one, that should well have the oomph that I need, if not, I'll just upgrade it. 32 gig of ECC RAM. Uh, because ZFS, the more RAM, the better. Here is a IBM M1015 HBA. Uh, it does come as a RAID card initially, but you cross flash it to LSI software uh, firmware and you can get it into IT mode then and it presents the drives as just JBOD to ZFS which is exactly what we need and they're connected by these 8087 controllers to the 6 gig backplane in this box. Next we've got on here this is a QLogic 2462 fiber channel uh, controller. I'll just swing this round and adjust that camera you can just about see it there but we've got the fiber controller two four gig ports and one two three four ethernet ports there so that gives us a good choice for either eSCSI or for um, fiber channel should we wouldn't wish to use it we can also do some other things with it um, basically that is the build and now it's just a matter of getting it on and we'll do some testing with it <laughs> 